Sometimes you just want to design a website without going in, setting up fonts here, templates here, everything everywhere. You just want your website. In this video, I want to show you the quickest way to get a website up and running using Elementor Pro. And by the way, if you like what you're seeing, I have a link in the video description below to purchase Elementor. I'd really appreciate it if you do that. Now, over here, I have a website that does not have any pages. In fact, let me show you. If I go to all pages here, there is nothing on this site. To get a website up and running super fast using Elementor Pro, what you need to do is to install Elementor Pro, of course, and then come over here to templates. You just hover over here, click on Kit Library. This is the hub of where all the designs are going to be. Super, super cool. So what you can do right away is now you can start looking at all these layouts and see which layouts you may be interested in. So for example, let's say you are someone that wants a simple layout, perhaps something to do with books. You can just click here on view demo. This will give you an idea of what the website is going to look like, including all the other pages inside this design. So if we take a look here, you're going to notice that we have this shop page. So if you like this layout, pretty cool. You can go with that. It has this slide in subscription thing. And then on the top here, we also have the about page. We also have the contact. Pretty cool. Now you can also go back and take a look at some of these other ones here. This is a business consulting one. I'll click here to view demo. So what we're doing here is to just take a look and see what sort of layout we have. We have the services about insights. So this one here is um, a bit more uh, in depth because it has a bit more information. But in this example, I wanna show you how to use a wireframe because I don't need all these images. I want something basic up and running super fast. Okay, so over here we have wireframe. I can just go ahead and select here to choose the wireframe. So I have different styles here. So I wanna take a look here at this one. I'm gonna click on view demo, just to make sure I'm looking at the right thing. So I can see here I have the home about services blog. Pretty much this is what you have for a basic website. So let's go ahead and apply kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, apply all. So now it's just telling us you're going to override any style settings, blah, blah, blah. I wanna go ahead and do that. So at this point now, I can just click next, next, next. And now, as you can see, my kit now is being applied. Now, this is super awesome. Imagine if you're designing a website for someone and they want a quick website, you can use the exact process that I'm doing over here to design these websites. Of course, you wanna go in and do a few tweaks here and there to make it look different, but the process is going to save you a lot of time. So on these wireframes, we can see that we have quite a few different ones. This one here is for local services. This is a blog one. This is uh, e-commerce. This one is a portfolio wireframe, local services, and so on. So I, I hope that they're going to add a bit more here as well. But anyway, I digress. So it looks like everything has been installed now and I'm now curious to see what this has done to my website. All right, so over here, I'm gonna click on our site. I've just refreshed it and I can see here I have my address. Pretty much this is really, really cool. I love this, it's amazing. Simple design, simple layout, awesome. I mean, the text here is way too big, but that's something I can fix easily. Awesome, okay. so. Question now is how do I add all my content onto my website? And let me show you how to do that right away. Okay, so this is just our template. Now, let me go in and start working on this. So what you wanna do is to click on edit with Elementor. First things first, let's work on the background of this site because I can see here, this is where an image goes. So I'm gonna click here on my container. And one thing that I really like about this as well is this is already using Flexbox, which is the new way of designing websites. So these template kits are up to date. Fantastic. Okay, now let's add our image. I'm gonna come over here to style and I'm gonna go to my background image. So I can see here, I have quite a few images, but I'm gonna go with, uh, let's go with this one here. I'm gonna select my image, click on select. And right away, you can see here that everything is pretty cool. All I have to do now is to go in and customize my image so that my image, my text here is easy to read. So all I have to do now is to come over here to background overlay. So here I want to go into background type and I'm going to add a color. I'm gonna go with white. So I'm gonna use colors that are already here. And you've noticed that now my image has gone lighter, okay? I can even increase that or decrease that 
like that so that I can just have a hint of what is happening here on my page or my hero area. So pretty much I'm happy with that. If I need to change any of this text, I can just click on this pencil icon and I can start adding uh, my text here. So I can say Mac headline. I'm just putting this Mac here so you can see that it's easy to go in and add your text. The same thing applies here to the button. You can just come over here. You can add your button URL. Instead of saying contact us, you can say join us, for example. Now let's move on to the next part of our site. And here we have our services. Okay, pretty cool. I'm going to go into this first one. Click on this uh, pencil icon. Choose my image. And the image this time I'm going to choose is this one right here, the photography one. Hit select and you can see right away I've added my image. So this is how I would go in and add all my services. Just click on this pencil icon, come over here and then choose your next image. Just like that. Next, we're going to come over here on the benefits. I can click here on this pencil icon again, add my image. This time I'm going to go with, let's go with this one here. Select. And all I have to do now is to go in and update my text update my paragraph text as well. So you want to continue doing this. Now I'm going to do one more example here. Click on this pencil icon and you can see here I can add an SVG icon or I can use my own icon. So I want to use my own icon here. I'm going to go ahead and choose this building one. Click on insert and you can see there it's very subtle and I've already added my icon. And if I wanted to add my benefits here, so I'm going to say main benefit one so you can see how easy it is to add the text. So I've just added it there and this is where you'd go in and add it and this is where you'd adjust your description. Pretty cool. Let's move on to the next section and then over here I can click on this pencil icon and as you can see this is an image carousel. So this is going to be a bit more exciting. I'm going to click on this pencil icon and now I can add my images. So what I'm going to do now is to add all my images to the gallery. So you can get rid of uh, these ones here because these are the blank ones. So I want to add my ones. So I'm going to click here, add to gallery, choose my image, add to gallery. And you can see now I'm starting to add my own images. Scroll down, add maybe this third one. And I'm pretty much happy with that. I'm going to say insert a gallery. So now I've inserted my gallery and these images now are going to be cycling through just like that. Fantastic. Over here, I have my client testimonials. I can add my client testimonials here. And let's say I want to add an image. I can just come over here. Let's look for an image that we can add. Let's add this, this one here. And just like that, I've added my client. If you want to add, edit the client name, we can just call her Kim like that. You can adjust the text here by coming over here. Very straightforward. Moving on. Over here, we have the trusted by. We can also add our icons over here. You can see that all these are the icons. It's an image carousel, similar to what we had before. So you can go in and add your logo in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that as it is. And then we have the blog. Now let's say we don't have a blog on our website. We can just get rid of this completely. So let's go ahead and do that. So you wanna get rid of it, just click here on delete container and that's gone. Okay, let's move on here. And let's say we don't need this one as well. I can just hover over it. In fact, this is our footer. So we have to be very careful here. Uh, so in the footer, we can also go in and adjust all this information. So to edit my footer, I'm just going to click over here, click on save. And now this is going to take me to my template where I can start editing my footer. But you know what? I'm not going to go ahead and do that. I just want to go ahead and take a look and see what my website looks like. And just like that, I have my main headline here. I have a hint of my image in the background. When I scroll down here, I have my services. Of course, I haven't edited the other ones. But as you can see, this is already looking great out of the box. Over here, I have my benefits. And then moving on, I can also add my icons over here. And I also have an example here. I have my carousel and I can cycle through different images here as well. So you can see when I click and drag, it goes through all the images. So as you can see, this is a fantastic way of getting up and running super fast using these template kits. Let me know what you think in the video description below. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.